Welcome back to John's Music. Before we start today's review, we would love to make an announcement. After serving 12 years in Mumbai, we have finally opened a branch of our store that is in Pune. Spreading over 1200 square feet, we have an amazing range of western music instruments from guitars to bass guitars, violins, ukuleles, accessories and a lot more. So if you are in Pune, do visit our store for checking out any music instruments or even if you have bought any instruments from our website, you can visit there for servicing and warranty claims. We hope to see you there. The address and the map location is in the description. Do visit us if you can. We would love to have you at the store. Now without any further delay, let's get into today's review. In today's video, we are comparing three semi-acoustic guitars from different brands under the price range of 40,000 rupees. First, we have the more popular one that is the Fender CD60 SCE. Second, we have the Lag T88 DCE. And the third one, we have the Sire A3 in the Dreadnought shape. So now coming to the reasons why we have chosen these three guitars. Coming to the first point, these are very reliable brands. One is Fender, the second one is Lag and the third is Sire. Among the three, the Lag is a new entry into the Indian market. It is a French brand making amazing guitar. The Lag became initially famous because of the high vibe system installed in the guitar. But however, even the entry level guitars are great to check out. All three guitars are under the 40,000 price range or as you can call it between 30 to 40,000 rupees. Now the third reason why we have chosen these guitars is the wood combination. All these three guitars have solid spruce top and mahogany back end sides. Now getting into the details, the first guitar here is Fender CD60 SCE. This has been a popular guitar in India for quite a while. This comes in an acoustic version but without the cutaway that is the CD60 S. The S stands for solid top and this, there is a lower version also of this that is CD60 V3 which is a laminate top that is a guitar under 20,000 bracket. Diecast tuning keys, it's got a strap nut on the top and even on the bottom. Now this guitar has the Fishman pickup and that makes it one of the primary reason why this was a choice for a lot of guitarists to go for. It's got a pretty reliable solid top and mahogany back and side which is glossy. The neck is not a very fat profile, it's a thin neck so very comfortable to play. This guitar comes in multiple colors, it comes in black, sunburst and even an all mahogany finish. The all mahogany finish is a little costlier than the rest of the finishes. All mahogany means it won't have a spruce top, it will have a solid mahogany and the laminated mahogany back and side. And that's about the Fender CD60 SCE. The next we have is the Sire A3 in the dreadnought shape. This is not having a cutaway. There is another shape available which is the Grand Auditorium shape. We have reviewed the Grand Auditorium shape in the previous video. Please click the eye icon and you will be able to find that video. However, this is a dreadnought segment. So this is the Sire A3 DS for D stands for dreadnought. Coming to the features, again solid sprues, mahogany back and sides, got a glossy neck, standard die cast tuners. It's got a Sire equalizer system, which is the similar in the A3 and the A4 as well. So the reason we did not choose the A4 in this comparison is because the A4 has a solid back as well. So the rest of the guitars have a laminated back, so the comparison won't be right. Here we have the similar wood combinations among all the three guitars. The Sire guitar currently comes in two finishes. One is a natural finish and this is the vintage sunburst. It's got a very good quality rosewood bridge and fretboard and is a very comfortable guitar to play because of the rolled frets. Next we have the Lag guitar. This model is T88 DCE. Now among both these guitars, this comes with an Engelmann solid spruce, which is a more brighter sound and a mahogany back and side, very high gloss finish. This gloss is uh, even higher than the other two guitars. Uh, this has a very unique gloss to it. This guitar does not have any kind of bindings, which is another beautiful element. This is the only one among the three that does not have a binding. The top is absolutely joined to the side of the guitar. Aesthetically, this is one of the better looking guitars among both the guitars because it's got a very unique headstock. Even the die cast tuning keys are very unique, matte black and it's got a very different shape. I really like the design that is done around the sound hole, makes it look very premium in nature. This is the only guitar among the three that has a matte or a satin neck which in my opinion is much more comfortable to play because once your hands get sweaty, it might not slip very well in the glossy finishes. 
Coming to the fretboard and the bridge, this is brown wood. This is not rosewood, so I believe it's a different variant. Uh, but looks pretty stable as compared. Now, among the three guitars, this guitar has the most fattest neck, I can say, which is something that certain guitar players only prefer. The Fender has and the Sire has a thinner neck. However, playability-wise, all three guitars are great once the setup is done. So, very important that this guitar has to be set up. Uh, the high action issues that you might be facing uh, could be a setup issue. So that does not really make the whole brand bad or the model bad. It's usually a setup issue that is compulsorily done by us when we dispatch the guitars. So whenever you inspect a guitar, make sure that the guitar is set up. Out of the box guitars may or may not uh, be the perfect action to play. So that was the spec comparisons of all the three guitars. Even with similar specs, these three guitars have a very different sound. So without any further delay, let's check out how they sound.
So final verdict on these three guitars are all three guitars are very well built and is very much value for the money. Out of the three, the Fender does not have that much competitive sound as much as the Sire and the Lag is offering. The Fender CD60 SCE, however, did not stand as much as the reputation of the brand. The Lag and the Sire here clearly wins depending on what sound quality you are looking for. However, that being said, sound is very subjective and if you do like the Fender, you should absolutely go for that. Remember, there is no wrong or right sound. It is what sounds good to your ear and that is the sound you have to go for. This is the reason why we don't mention what is personal best because what choice of sound that we would love is not the sound that you would like. And this is why all our videos are subjective in nature. We really want to give you the choice to decide what is best for you. So the links to buy all these guitars are in the description. You can click the link and make a purchase right away. If you have any doubts or queries, you can reach us on our call and WhatsApp support. Thank you for watching our channel. Subscribe to our channel for more product reviews and educational content. Until next week, bye-bye.